Hello enemy, this is Kelly and I've come from Manchester to Leeds to Newcastle following Vince from Frank Music. We've been all around Newcastle today, we've been to a bagel shop, we've been to a museum, we've been to a house party and now we've come to another house party so we're going to go inside and grab him for a quick chat. <laughs> Music and um, um, I'm currently um, doing this live and lost tour with MySpace. Uh, so basically today I have spent um, my time in Newcastle um, where I met a lovely bunch of people yesterday evening who picked me up from a place called Coldstream and um, it's on the border of Scotland and England and two lovely guys came up and drove me down to Newcastle and took me to this place which is their home. And um, I came back to a really cool house party, and um, they've been looking after me today. I've ended up performing in a bagel shop and then in a science museum, been bumming around in Newcastle, and I'm now back at the house after going to a sort of house party elsewhere in Newcastle. It's been a really good day on my Live and Lost tour so far, and um, I'm trying to get to Leeds tomorrow, and I'm just organising that now on MySpace. Are you surprised by how much the fans have helped you? Are you? Has it been like a bit of a strike? Did you think it would it would actually work? Well, um, I mean, I, I wasn't sure. I mean, I didn't. I tried not to think about it before the tour started. I didn't really want to um, think about it too much. But I mean, when, when I came to stay in this flat, I mean, the guy's got Frank Music CDs just plastered in his CD collection, and so there are people out there. Not that I think about it, but there are actually people out there who do sort of like what I do and stuff so yeah it's it's been amazing and I suppose you know it's only the people who actually do like it who are gonna bother to sign up and try and help so um, I've I've kind of hoped that there were there were people and there have been and I haven't been in a particularly well I've been in I was in a rough situation last night but apart from that it's it's been quite smooth actually why was last night difficult? Because um, there was a severe breakdown of communication I didn't get organised quick enough for my next sort of part of the journey so because I was asleep in the back of this car so the whole time I was asleep I could have been organising getting my next lift to pick me up and um, put myself in quite a tight situation whereby I nearly got stuck in a just I was going to have to ask um, this landlord if I could sleep in his pub <laughs> basically <laughs> with the camera crew because we, 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 were, we were fucked. <laughs> Apart from gaining new fans, what are you hoping to get out of this journey on a personal level? Well, I mean, it's the thing. A lot, of, you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, it's great, it's a great PR stunt, this, that, and the others. I never came into this as a PR stunt. I came this as a, a sort of almost like a social experiment, really. It's um, how much can you bring people together with music again, um, which doesn't sort of rely just solely on being on the internet it's also bringing the human interaction back in with the internet because just because you've got 18,000 fans on your MySpace you mean you don't know any of them so let's go out and meet some of them <laughs> let's go and see how many of them are real you know um, this is Frank Music and um, this was my Live and Lost uh, for Blackberry and MySpace little diary um, thanks to Enemy and um, see you soon thank you very much no worries I wasn't really expecting anyone to be standing in here, so um, it's, it's a, even better to have you guys here. So thank you, Newcastle and Baker the North. <laughs> <laughs>